Apologies in advance. I'm not exactly the best at using my phone camera, so the shots you're going to see are not exactly perfect, so please bear in mind. I also have a timestamp for the updates that I talk about at the very beginning, um, towards the end of the, like, to jump to the end of the video, so if you don't want to watch the overview of my setup, just, uh, click that. What is going on, everyone? So, I've never really been requested to do this, but due to the fact that I was able to actually get a um, sponsored item for a review for this video, as well as the fact that I'm in a new setup, I wanted to just go through and show you guys kind of what I use to play War Thunder, as well as do my streams, because hey, some of you might be curious to see what I know I've had people ask what I've used in the past, and this way I can just go through it, and then at the end I've got a couple updates for the channel relating to like the stream and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So I actually just recently updated this. I'm sitting in my chair right now. I can stand up in a second, but we've got the two monitors set up now. I use this second monitor here. This is a lower resolution monitor, obviously, with my face cam on it. For um, this is for chat. I run chat whatever I need in the second window and then my game in the main one. This is an Aorus monitor. I'll have all the links to everything with specific names in the description, but this is a 2560 by 1440, so a 2K monitor. And I saw a video, I think it was on Linus Tech Tips about it. It actually has, I don't know where they sit exactly. I don't know how well you can see it. Somewhere along there, I think that's one of them. It has built-in microphones to help with noise cancellation if you're using a headset in the back. I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it because it looked like a really nice monitor, and it is. It actually has also some RGB in the back, but you literally can never see that, so it's kind of just there for no purpose, as well as my cone sticker. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. My laptop just finished resetting. So Cortana's going to talk. Let me fix that. Okay, Cortana has been um, silenced. So that's basically my monitor setup. And we'll get into the real quick. So this BenQ, the uh, light bar here, I was sent as a review product. I got to say, I wasn't 100% certain how much I'd like this. It seemed really interesting. That's why I, w I agreed to it. And basically what it does, as you can see, it like mounts to the top of your monitor. It has a little weighted um, spring-loaded clamp. And it sits here and just provides light for your desk. But I gotta say, the amount of light this thing puts off, it plugs right into my PC. I think, I can't remember if I have this running off of a separate power supply. I think it runs off my PC. But I really, really have been liking this more than I would have anticipated and then you're on and off. I gotta say, I guess you couldn't really see it. So on, off, whoop, come on, turn on. Then you got your brightness, got your mood lighting. I should have done this while it was bright out, then I would have had better lighting for this. But uh, yeah, I would honestly recommend this if you're looking for something to light your desk and you don't have room, like as you can see with my desk, it's fairly small. I really don't have room to put like a lamp I could put one like over in that corner, but honestly, I've got like cables and crap there, so I don't really want to do that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that light bar. I'll have a link in the description for that as well, along with all the other stuff. But uh, onto this is my microphone, just a blue snowball. I may end up changing out for something better than this if I can find something that doesn't pick up fleas farting in the other countries around me. This was actually a bundle I found on Amazon that came with the stand, which the first one they sent me was the wrong one. It didn't have, there's like a little threaded rod right here that threads into my microphone. It had the wrong end, so I couldn't thread it onto the, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with this. It didn't thread onto my microphone perfectly. And then just the pop filter over top. Then you do get down to uh, the epic $15. This was like a keyboard and mouse combo that I bought a while back. I very much recommend, like this mouse is a lot better than it looks for being 15 bucks. I like it a lot. 
I might end up getting a new one if this one starts to crap out. But it's gone with me this long, and I have a lot of trouble getting used to a new mouse, so I'll stick with this one for now. My stream deck, which... I don't know how well you could hear that through my new headset, but... um. That thing's useful. I mostly picked it up because I was like, I want to buy something on Black Friday. Oh, that's cool. My mouse pad. I wish I could have gotten... I tried. I really did. I contacted the people that made this. I was like, can I order more of these? Never heard anything back. So, I might see about this in the future. If people are interested, let me know in the comments. I will do my best to track down another retailer. I mean, I could just do like a square mouse pad, but I personally like the one with the wrist rest. If you guys are fine without the wrist rest, let me know. We'll figure something out. On to my next. This is also Red Dragon. I like Red Dragon a lot because they're inexpensive, but they provide pretty quality stuff. This is my just mechanical keyboard. I believe these are brown switches, so they're actually not the loudest, but you wouldn't be able to tell that with my, <laughs> with my microphone picking up literally every single clack I make. But it's good for ASMR, right? And then this is actually a new headset. The old one I can show you after this. These are, uh, it's a Sennheiser headset. I've been wanting to get a Sennheiser for a while because I've heard they're very, very good. And I have been so far impressed. It's pretty simple, just dials on the side, flips down, microphone on. I don't use the microphone, obviously, because I have separate microphone. Then volume slider on the side. Pretty simple, standard stuff. What was I transferring? Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is the other quick. I just had some. S this is my other old headset. Some Sades. Nice boom mic. I liked this because it kind of almost reminded me of like a pilot headset. And I just needed a decent headset. I'll link these as well in the description because honestly, I would recommend these over the Sennheiser because those are extremely expensive headphones for someone who's just looking to play online games so those are good but i recommend these over them if you don't have a ton of money not that i do but working full-time does have some benefits so uh behind me we've got my boy mike lindell just uh you can see my certificate proving that i'm a lord of sealand as well as some other stuff. If you're not aware already, I'm actually in a camper. My gamer camper. Don't mind the mess. That's the whole thing. That's where I, I hang out and play my games. The last piece of the setup, aside from my PC, is just my chair. I actually wasn't originally going to get a gaming chair, but this one was like $140. And I really like the... The bucket seat, it reminds me a lot of being in my car because, uh, well, my older car, because it has a similar design to the bucket seat, and I just like it because it helps me with my posture as well, which I tend to slouch. You can probably see me on stream. I'm, like, constantly adjusting, so that's why I kind of like this one. I'll leave that in the description if you are looking to get one of those. And uh, my non-RGB PC, because I can never really see in there, but... Uh, Gigantic cooler on my i7-8700, and then right below it sits the 1080. Surprisingly, I didn't have to add any extra fans. All the fans and stuff built into that case managed to keep all that stuff cool. I think it's because I got a Windforce graphics card, so it has all. Th it's got three extra fans on the bottom, and then the huge cooler just blows everything out the back. So, I mean... It's nice for me because I didn't have to add an extra fan, but at the same time I bought an extra fan because I thought I was having heating issues, and then it turned out I wasn't. I was just, I had something like tuned wrong, but yeah. So on to a little bit more of some updates. Now I was originally going to do this as a face cam, and I will. I'm going to switch to my face cam, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, so I recorded this before, and my audio went through my video, or my webcam, and also wouldn't open in my editing software for some reason, so I have to re-record this. But basically, long story short, we have a new stream schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming War Thunder most likely Wednesdays and Fridays. And then Monday, I'm 
thinking this week because of what I'm about to talk about will be um will be War Thunder. But the following weeks I might start trying to stream to Mixer on Mondays. So I stream different games to Mixer. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. I'll figure it out when I get to it. But for this week since on Friday will be the 2 year anniversary 2 year anniversary of my first meme compilation I'm going to be doing a charity setup for all three streams and we're going to be trying to raise some money to send to the Flak Panzer Restoration Project which is the team behind the Warble and Restoration you may have seen the video that um, the Chieftain put out a couple weeks ago maybe a month or two ago now but um, I've been wanting to try to raise some money for that since as you can tell due to a lot of the art and stuff on my channel the Warbwind is one of my favorite vehicles so I would really like to see the one of two remaining get back into working and as they claim firing condition so that would be very cool because then I could go and see that be able to show you guys some videos of it and it would just be really cool I think to try to help that project go along so if you want to help support that I'll be putting forward a hundred dollars myself so if you want to help I want to try to raise my goal is a thousand I don't know if we'll reach it but we can give it our best shot and if we don't at least we can send whatever we've raised I'll be putting everything that I make including the money from um, the ads that run on the stream so I'll be putting forward as much as I can I hope you guys can contribute maybe a little bit even just a couple dollars you never know might help so yeah that pretty much sums it up uh, bad lighting and everything aside I'll be working on that in the future as well so uh, <laughs> please do tune into the streams in the future let's keep this show on the road and I'll catch you next time